you know, shot. If you can, you know, I want you to visualize a small draw, like a, a two-yard draw, okay? Um, what ideally I'd like to see have happen here is, let's see if we can aim um, at the center of the green and hold that draw there. Um, I think we should take the right side out for sure, because you're short-sighted if you go in those bunkers on the right. If you, for some reason, you know, hit too far left, um, or you're on the left side of the green, it's not going to be a major issue. But if we're on the right, if we miss this right, we're in big trouble. Right? Right. So visualize, I want you to visualize um, the shot that you're trying to hit, because you said you like to do that, right? But I, I'd like to add, maybe try to feel it first with the practice swings, okay? okay? Then I want you just to visualize it and see it, and then just believe you can hit it, and then hit the shot, okay? Okay. All right. Oh, good ball. Good shot. So, I, I really do like to add this to, you know, the, the process and pre-shot routine. And uh, something I tell people is, I, I say, feel it, see it, believe it. So I think that you can add that to your to your pre-shot routine. Because you said you like to visualize it, right? Yeah. But um, I would start feeling it first. Then you can actually see it and then believe you can do it. You're gonna have shots like that. That's yeah. right. Flag, right? Yes. All right. Cool. Good job. Do you find that sometimes you feel your practice swings feel different than your actual swings? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it happens to a lot of us. Yeah. Um, I would recommend, especially on the practice range, not so much on the course, but while we're out here having a, uh, a lesson out here on the course, we can do it. But sometimes you have to take away the thought of the result and just think about what you're actually trying to do mechanically, because being so focused on the result can take you away from what you actually have to do to execute the shot. So think more about what you're trying to accomplish with the swing, right? Things we're working on, right? The longer back swing, a little longer fall through, slow the tempo down, and not worry so much about the result, right? Can you try to do that? Yeah. And like I said, on the course and around, that can be tough, right? But we gotta start training ourselves maybe a little bit sooner, and that's gotta happen on the on the dry range and out here right now. I think we can do it as well, okay? So let's go try it out. Take a couple practice swings. Same thing. Feel it, see it, believe it. But let's. Let's focus more on what you have to do in the swing and not worry about right now exactly where that ball's gonna end up. Okay. Okay, those are great. Okay, the result's pretty good, right? Yeah. Okay. Do you think that the actual swing was the same as your, your practice swings, similar or far from it? What do you think? It was similar. Similar, okay. Do you think you can make it even closer, like a more of a exact replica? Yeah, there's definitely room for me to improve on the actual shot based off of my practice swings for sure. Right, and it's not that your practice swing has to be exactly how you're going to uh, swing the club, but if they are very different, that can cause some issues. And, and typically what I see in a lot of people um, is that we get so result oriented that it takes over what we actually have to do to execute the shot. Okay, so let's do it again. Okay, that was, that was good. I really like that. Um, I'm going to have you tee it up a little bit more to the right side of the tee box since your treble is on the right side. Uh -huh. um, and let's see if we can feel a draw so we can guarantee we don't hit it in the right side. Now, I'm not saying a hook though, right? I'm just saying I want you to make sure you feel that you're going to be hitting the draw, which I, I think you can do. Yeah. Right? So let's tee it up a little bit more to the right. And uh, you can still pick your same line, all right? Just I want you to feel it, see it, believe it, all right? Pick the same spot. Okay, so we're going to tee up a little more to the right. You 
pick your same line off the left. I just want to make sure that you can really feel that you're not going to go right. We got to take the right side out of the way, right? Okay, so feel the swing. Feel things you've been working on. Make sure you feel it, you see it, you believe it, right? Okay, good ball. So what do you feel that when we tee it up more to the right, what do you feel that's different than when maybe you tee it up down the middle? Well, I feel like it opens up uh, a lot more of what I'm not afraid of. Okay. So when I tee up to the right, obviously I'm not going to aim right. It just doesn't feel right. Right. So it allows me to aim and have a lot bigger of an area to miss in, rather than when I was here, it, that's much more in play. Right. So it makes more sense to line up here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So just think about these things around the course, right? It's quite all right, cool. Good. But you can still go through the same pre-shot routine like you've been doing with the full swings. Okay. And uh, again, uh, feel it, see it, believe it, same thing. I mean, you really got to have that sensation.